Hello, welcome to this lesson of engineering mechanics, statics. We're going to work with this problem on the board where we're going to add three vectors together. Uh, I chose this problem on purpose because it's a little bit weird. Uh, it's very common to see something like this on an exam. So we have three vectors, F1, F2, F3. But notice also that we have superimposed with our axes, we've got some, some dimensions in terms of meters here. And we had a problem similar to this before. And basically when you see dimensions in terms of feet or meters or length um, together with a vector that represents a force or something, then the dimensions listed on the diagram are there pretty much to tell you what direction these vectors are really pointing. Notice we don't have any uh, direction angles or, or direction cosines or anything labeled on the drawing, um, so we need to really pull that information out of the drawing. So what we really want to do is look at vector F1. We know it's 600 newtons. We know which way it's pointed based on the drawing, but we want to write its Cartesian representation, I, J, K. And then we want to do the same thing for this vector and the same thing for this vector, get them all in terms of I, J, K. And we're trying to find the resultant, so we're going to add them all together and then we'll get the resultant. So it's the same thing that we've been doing in all the other problems, except in this case I have three vectors instead of two, and the direction angles are not really given, I have to figure that stuff out myself. That's why I want to do this problem. Now the other thing I want to tell you is, it's, I hope it's clear, it may not be clear from the drawing, but vector F1 is supposed to be only in the plane of Y and Z. In other words, it doesn't poke out here. Vector F2 is supposed to be in the XY plane only, and vector 3 is supposed to be uh, only in the XZ plane. So to use my little quick mock-up, which I you know, think sometimes can be handy, what I've got here, if I can orient it right, uh, is I've got X, Y, and Z as oriented uh, as it stands on the board. What I'm basically trying to say is vector F1 is in the plane of Y and Z. Notice how it's in the plane like that, and that's why we have it drawn like that. Um, vector F2 is in the XY plane, just like this, and vector F3 is over here like this in this plane. So each of these vectors exist in one of the principal planes, and that's going to help us simplify things a little bit. So it's, it's a little hard to draw it, but that's why I, I kind of made the little prop. I can try to help out with that. So first let's look at F1, at vector F1, we want to find the direction angles for this vector. Because once we have the direction angles, I know that I can form the full vector. Because I know once I have those direction angles, I can find the unit vector along F1, and then I can multiply by the magnitude of F1, and that will give me the Cartesian representation of F1. So let's boil it down to what are the direction uh, cosines here? Or I should say the direction angles. So what we're going to try to figure out is, what is theta x? What is theta x? In other words, what 